Hey guys, RG White here, and this is part 7 of my Paper Mario Let's Play. Uh, in the last part, we beat the Koopa Bros and rescued the first Star Spirit. And in this part, we're going to do a lot of things, but we're going to start off with some Princess Peach gameplay. How exciting is this? Yeah. Well, anyway, we got to do it, so let's just get it over with. Alright, so, yeah, we're in Princess Peach's castle right now. And Twink is talking. And they're trying to find a way out. Like I would, if I was... But how would they get out? They're up in space. That makes no sense. They'd just die. If they tried to, like, jump off or something. But, um, in this level... Or, yeah, this level, we're gonna find... This, which is going to be something we do... Almost every Princess Peach level. Hit that button... And go through this secret door. Because for some reason, even though we get caught like a hundred times, they never think to put a guard over here. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going to hit this button and this crazy spinny wall spins. It, it's making so much noise. Do you think someone would get suspicious? But this is a Mario game. Logic doesn't really exist. So we're going to read this private diary that's just laying around. And, uh, day zero, zero. Today I went to the star heaven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits, so they won't bother me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner today was good but bland. I feel like I know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Okay, let's continue. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, Diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Um. Okay. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, cool. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, Diary. I hope she likes me. Oh, shit. This is Bowser's Diary. Keep reading. Well, the Kubros got beaten by Mario, Diary. He even set that stupid Star Spirit free I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, Mario. I'm Mario. Whatever. <laughs> I couldn't read fast enough. There's no way Mario could save the Star Spirit being held in Dry Dry Ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find Dry Dry Ruins in the Dry Dry Desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm I'm going to bed now. Well, now he's going to know to go to the desert after we tell him. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the next place we got to go. Dry Dry Desert. And that's where the second Star Spirit's being held. And uh, yeah, we'll get there probably in the next part. This part, uh, really, I'm just going to be doing stuff in the sewers and on the way back to Toad Town. But you'll see in a little bit as this Princess Peach level is coming to a close. We're going to get lifted up in the air by these Koopa Troopas and ran out of the room. Like, I don't understand. They never go after Twink. He just flies around freely. But anyway, it's over. So the first star spirit is free. He's going to talk to us. And uh, he's going to give us something pretty cool. And we're going to end up using these a lot. He's going to give us a star power. Which is kind of like... Most RPGs, there's like some form of like magic system or something. This is pretty much this game's system of that. You have a certain amount of energy you could use, and every star power takes a certain amount of energy. But they're pretty, st they have pretty strong effects. But uh, yeah, they're they're pretty good. Well, most are good. Some of them I don't use once, but others I'll use a lot just because they vary in usefulness. The one we get first is pretty useful. It's called. I don't, I think it's called like refresh, but, or no it's not, I, I can't remember, I'm sorry, but basically it gives us 5 HP and 5 FP, which is pretty useful. So uh, yeah, there's a wall over here we could blow up, we're gonna grab Bombette and uh, throw her at this wall. Bombette really doesn't see much use after this chapter, only to blow up walls, I don't really use her in battle. Just because I don't, she's not really that useful, in my opinion. Other people probably 
of the yeah, other people will probably think otherwise, but I'm just gonna cut out like a good three minutes of me walking back to the town because this is the only notable thing we do, and that is fight Junior Troopa. He's back again, and he wants revenge against us because we beat his ass last time. And uh yeah, this time it's a little bit different than the past times we fought him because now he has this shell thing that gives him more defense. I think it's only plus one or plus two, but I'm not sure. I don't really know much about this form. I was too lazy to look it up. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, his attacks are the exact same as before. I think they do more damage. They do two. I think last time they did one. Or maybe not. I think they did two last time also. But his higher defense makes him a little bit more challenging this time. But we have Hammer Charge, which will increase our hammer's power and let us hit through his little shield thing. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty routine battle going on right now. Sorry if you hear any noise. I was adjusting my headset. It's getting a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I know I don't really upload this very often. I really would like to upload this more often. I know there really isn't much that's went on so far in this video, but don't worry, we'll get to some other stuff. I really enjoy doing it. To me, it's an, it's an enjoyable experience, but I don't really have time to do it because I'm busy with school. And I can't really find a quiet time to record because I have a kind of large family. And, you know, there's always people talking or yelling or doing something. And it's hard to record because it's not very quiet. And I don't want any background noise in my recordings. Uh, the other people on this channel don't really have that problem because they just don't. <laughs> They're all only childs. Actually, Madao isn't, but whatever. So, yeah, we beat him. And we're going to head into Toad Town now. Actually, first I'm going to hit the menu. What am I doing? I was just checking my badges. Uh, yeah, we'll put FP plus on after we get that plus three badge point. I forgot we leveled up right there. I wasn't even looking at the screen. But yeah, we leveled up and we chose badge points, which is why I put on that plus three or plus five FP badge. Might be wondering why didn't you just upgrade FP in the first place? But uh, I don't know. I like maxing out BP first. So yeah. Uh, t Twink? Yeah, Twink is going to come talk to us. And he's going to tell us to go to Dry Dry Desert, which we already know because we already saw, but Mario doesn't know because he wasn't there. We have that omnipresent um, narrator viewpoint. I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, we're going to go here and rest after that fight. You know, get our nap on. I just woke up like a half hour ago. It's like noon. I love being able to sleep late on weekends. I miss it so much. That's the only thing I miss about summer. <laughs> what am I talking about? I miss everything about summer, but that's probably the thing I miss the most. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, over here is a badge shop. It just opened. Now they sell a lot of useful badges here, but my screen glitches out a ridiculous amount when I come over here. So. You probably won't see me over here too often, but if you didn't already know, this is a pretty cool badge shop. They sell a lot of cool stuff. You should head out. You should head there. I might buy stuff off screen, but I'll almost never show it just because I hate the screen glitching. But yeah, before we can head down, I just want to head through the sewer because there's a couple things we could do down there, and I'd rather do it now than later. So we're gonna head down there. If we head over to the left, we can't go down there or over there because we don't have the items to do so. But well, we will later. But if we come to the right, we, we will be able to go through because we can smash that block with our current hammer. But first I'm going to save, you know, just in case. And down here there's a new enemy. That blue Goomba dude over there. We get the first strike on him, hit him right in the face. So uh, that's a Gloomba. They're pretty much stronger Goombas. Uh, the max HP is 7 and their attack is 2, but they still have a defense of 0. So this is... Yeah. Jeez, I'm stuttering all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they're still easy to beat. Because they're low defense and they're relatively low attack. And their attacks are pretty easy to 
guard against. Should be able to take out the first one with this Goombario head bonk, and we did. And uh, the second one will go down shortly. Yeah, I know that me and Spec are doing that gold and silver thing, and you might be like, where's part two? But it's such a pain in the ass to edit together. It takes so long, because something with Spec's recording always goes wrong after we do it. Like, we record it, it's fine, everything's perfect. I put it into Vegas, and something goes wrong. <laughs> and I refuse to upload another part, or there's audio lag, or corrupting video, or something. I want it to be as perfect as we could get it. Because I care about the quality of our videos. So yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good excuse, right? For not making videos all the time. Quality over quantity. Yeah, but seriously, uh, I really want to get it right before I release it. should probably expect it later this week, but I'm not making any promises because I really don't know how to fix it. But I've tried everything I can, so I'll, I'll try to get it out as quick as possible, but that doesn't mean it'll come out soon. So yeah, just bear with us. Once we get it down, I promise you we'll be uploading it at least once a week. Because it's really easy to record and put together, it's just hard to... There's just a lot of random problems going on, which bothers me. But yeah, we get lucky right there, his attack misses. Uh, these are spiked Gloombas, which are pretty much the same thing as spiked Goombas, except have higher HP. And do like three damage, I think. I wasn't paying attention before. I was too busy telling my story about corrupting video, which I haven't had that problem yet in this let's play. Thank God. Knock on wood. I don't want it. I mean, I recorded this entire thing back in June. <laughs> I thought I'd have this done by now, but due to real world busyness, I haven't. Yeah, it's like almost October now, and I'm not even at the second boss, but. Yeah, I recorded this three months ago. It was still summer too, wow. I've gotten way off track this battle, I'm sorry. These guys are giving us kind of a problem. They do a lot of damage with their little spiky hat. Uh, we're not going to be able to kill him off this turn. He's going to have one HP. Please miss, please miss. Aww. Oh, we didn't die anyway. Hammer him. Yeah, we lived. Oh my god, we're about to die. We're gonna have to head back because we only have 2 HP. And, uh, we shouldn't head over there with only 2 HP. And you'll see in a minute. Why not? So I'm gonna head back up. I'm going to grab a couple items and heal. And I'll see you in 3 seconds. Alright, we're back down in the sewer. And we're going to head to the right, where I didn't go through before because we only had 2 HP. And over here beyond this bridge is, you guessed it, an optional boss. Yep, this giant blooper. Which I think is the only blooper we see in the entire game, which is a little weird because they're kind of like a mainstay Mario enemy, but whatever. Cooper is not going to be able to do crap this fight, so we're going to put him away. I don't think you can, but I apologize if you heard a dog barking because my dog hears Specs dog outside and uh, he wants to go play with them. Yeah, me and Spec live next to each other. But, um, yeah, anyway, this is the blooper. He has 30 HP. He has 30 attack, uh, 30 attack, no, he has 3 attack, that would be really hard. He has 3 attack and 0 defense. He has the most HP, I think, out of any enemy we faced so far. So he's pretty challenging. His attacks are, this attack is kind of easier to dodge, but his ink attack is pretty difficult to dodge because the timing is weird. I always get it wrong, so if you see me fail at like a million different, uh, Guards or whatever you want to call them this battle. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I guess you can call me a noob. Oh yeah, we're at 3 HP, which means I'm probably going to have to heal now. Got that super mushroom, thank god. We can heal ourselves by 10 HP. 
And uh, I'm gonna head bonk this blooper. Uh, if you've watched so far in this video, which I hope you all have, but I don't know. I got a question for you guys. What is your absolute favorite game? My absolute favorite game is probably a tie between Majora's Mask, Zelda, Majora's Mask, and this is probably kind of weird, but Mega Man Battle Network 3. I love that series so much. I was trying to play the second one yesterday, and I turned it off. I saved, turned it off, came back to it like two hours later, and the save file was gone. And that wasn't the first time it did that, so I just lost the save battery on that cartridge. It just really bothered me because I like that game a lot too. But uh, yeah, what comment question of the day? What is your favorite game of all time? So uh, I think we're pretty much done with this part. So yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.